Hey guys, Ru here with none of it for Blender. This one we're gonna be talking about a new feature in uh, Box Cutter 0.7, which was released a couple days ago. Anyway, this video is gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking about the new, a new toy in Box Cutter 0.7, which is a wedge. Uh, there were a few more things added, which are pretty bloody amazing. But wedge is a, a lot of fun. So watch this. Um, if I'm gonna grab a box, right, and just you know slice it and you know i would like to wedge it and uh, in previous version what i would need to do is go to a line box switch it on draw a line uh you know um extrude it click draw click and before i actually finish drawing what i would need to do is press w okay that's how wedge worked right now the new one you don't need this box all you do is simply press w so you draw a, a rectangle you draw it and drag it down and with w you can actually switch between you know rectangle and wedge and if you want to rotate it you press shift r in live mode right and you can still add all these you know bevels and whatnot uh, solidifications and whatever you want right so that's one two you can wedge anything, okay? Even your mum. So uh, if you press W, right, you can see that it simply uh, adds a wedge to the circle. And it works the same way. So if I'm gonna, you know, uh, wedge this, I can shift R and it's gonna rotate this shape to wherever I want it in 90 degrees angles. Now, another thing with wedge is that, you know, it works with uh, custom cutters. So if I'm going to, you know, have fun with my mesh a little bit, right, and I'm going to uh, ext extract it. So I'm going to run a uh, extraction zone and press Y, click, and it's now my custom cutter so I can draw it. And in previous version, you know, there was no option to um, really draw very precise and sort of uh, uh, uniform cuts but now what you can do is hot shift and draw it and it's gonna draw in you know pre precise the same proportions as this cut in here but in addition to all this i hold shift and i draw it i release it and if i release it if i still holding shift you see that the depth is also identical but so the two ways of doing it you hold shift you draw you release your mouse you release your shift and then you can you know adjust the depth but if you hold your shift and you draw and you release and click this is going to be exactly the same depth and size and everything as the other card okay the cool thing about it is that <clears throat> with the wedge tool right you can release it right and press w to actually add the wedge to it or you can hold shift release your mouse and press W while holding the shift, which will ensure that you're going to draw the same depth of shape, but it's, you know, with a wedge to it. So, you know, it is pretty cool. So let's just add some um, weighted normals here. And also, I think we could adjust the uh, auto smooth because it's a little bit, uh, there we go. It's a little bit on the wonky side. So if you, you know, if you sometimes cut it, this is a little tip for you, if you sometimes cut a boolean and the angle doesn't agree with the, with the sharp value, so with the auto smooth, meaning it's shallower than 30 degrees, like here, you simply go to uh, mesh tools, auto smooth, and you simply move your mouse uh, left or right to adjust the auto smooth until it snaps. So you don't have to apply it and apply sharp edge. Uh, you can do it on the live boolean, which is really convenient, so anyway so as you can see this wedge works with everything and uh, even with angon so if i go to you know I turn on my snapping here in the top and go to angon and i'm gonna start drawing an angon here right and you know something like this and uh, cut it there's some weird stuff going on with this angon man hang on a second let me just grab another cube maybe because you slice so heavily so one more time and let's just uh, draw something here like this there we go and then i'm gonna press w for wedge and you got your wedge so you can you know have a wedged angle and again see see here the same problem so i'm gonna go to mesh loose auto smooth and boom done and bob's your uncle so anyway guys hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did and if you I want to learn how to use hard ups and box cutter professionally because why not 
grab our course the uh, ultimate guide to hard ups and box cutter on the blender bros brand and we just updated it recently to the newest version of hard ups 29 and uh, probably guessed that the new update's gonna be including this one as well so we're gonna wait for some more stuff from um, the team c and master zeon and uh, we're going to more than likely update it again so the updates are free don't cost you anything so there you go thanks for watching catch you next video guys